Hey guys, this is Kyle with AG Russell Knives. We are going to fly solo today, no Jake, unfortunately. Uh, I am going to be talking to you guys about some premium knives. We're talking north of $100 here. Um, I'm going to give you guys some ballpark pricing, but of course our website always has current pricing. So if you're interested, you can check them out there and you'll be able to look at the current pricing. Uh, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it, if that's all right with you guys. All right. Up first, we're going to have the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. This particular version has a black coated blade along with a black G10 uh, scales, and it is going to be a compression lock back here with a reversible clip, tip up, tip down. Uh, it is left-hander friendly. Uh, you don't have a block here. You have a full cutout, so you can operate it completely left-handed, which is good for us lefties. Um, it does come with a CPM 30 S 30 V blade. Uh, so a high end steel there pricing on this one's going to run you in the mid ones up around 165. Uh, but of course, check for current pricing on the website. Up next, we're going to move to the Spyderco Swayback, which is a newer one from Spyderco. It's got a really nice action to it. Got a little sheep's foot blade there. Uh, it is a different steel one. You don't see very often. It is a uh, CTS XHP, uh, which is something that's not seen very often. I've seen a few people use it, but it's not very common. Uh, it does have a titanium frame with a reversible clip. Uh, it is only tip up though, um, and it is not left-hander friendly. Um, suppose you could use a middle finger uh, on the backside, but man, that's gonna be tough. Um, you'd have to have some dexterity to do that one. Uh, but this is a new offering from Spyderco, so if you're a Spyderco guy and you don't have all of uh, the new stuff, this one might be one that would interest you. Interest you. It's going to run you up in the upper two, somewhere in the 275 range. Um, but man, it's, it's a nice knife. It's got a great action to it, great lockup, just a solid knife. Uh, next, we're going to detour into an area we don't normally go when we're talking about premium knives, and that's going to be with Buck. Uh, I was extremely impressed whenever uh, these came in. This is the Buck Sprint Pro. Uh, pricing on this is going to be in the mid ones, right around 150. Um, it does have an S30V blade, um, which for Buck is not not super common. Um, marbled carbon fiber uh, scales and a bright red pocket clip for a little pop of color. Um, it does have a ball bearing pivot, so it's got a fantastic open. Um, and it does come flipper only. So if you're a thumb stud guy, this one might not be for you. Uh, but just a really impressive knife from Buck, something that uh, you don't normally see from Buck. Normally they're more traditional. Uh, this is a real nice modern twist on, uh, on a knife from them. Next, we're gonna move over to Benchmade. Uh, this is the Saibu. Uh, it's got a black G10 handle with some Coca Bolo inlays uh, and some cutouts that you can see there. Uh, makes the knife extremely light. It's a great everyday carry, um, in my opinion, especially if you're someone who wears slacks or khakis. Um, just makes it really easy to carry and not notice you're carrying a knife. Um, you could even throw them in gym shorts, I think you'd be all right. Uh, it does have a reversible deep pocket clip. Uh, so that's a that's a plus for someone like me. I really prefer the deep pocket clip. Thumb stud opening with a little uh, Coca Bowl insert in there as well. Um, and it does come with a CPM 20 CV blade, uh, which is, you know, always good news. And this one is going to run you up around 230. Um, so check this knife out. A great everyday carry, in my opinion, and just a really solid knife from Benchmade. We're gonna stay in the Benchmade family for the next knife and go to the uh, North Fork Folding Hunter. Uh, this one is a little bit heavier, but not much. Uh, it is part of kind of their hunt uh, series, if we'll call it that. Um, but it is very much, in my opinion, an everyday carry knife. Uh, it does have a little spot for uh, a lanyard there if you wanna throw one on there, and it does have a reversible pocket clip. This one's not. Uh, deep pocket carry though, so if uh, that's a deal breaker for you, then know that going in. Uh, like the Saibu, it does have the access lock, which is very common on Benchmades and is just a joy. Um, this one, thumb stud open, does have a little jimping at a couple different spots on the blade, so if you want to get some point control, you could work your way up on the blade there and really do some work. Um, I really like the blade shape on this one. It's 
great belly right here. Um, S30V blade, can't go wrong there. And this one is uh, about 160, not, not too high up. Uh, so if you're looking for something kind of, you know, around 160, that is a great option. Uh, we're gonna move into some Kershaw Zero Tolerance. And this is the Sinkovich KVT, um, which is just a really nice looking knife in my opinion. Also has the marble car carbon fiber, similar to the Buck Sprint Pro. Um, difference being this is just an inlay rather than the whole handle. Um, the rest of it is titanium, very light knife, got a great profile, extremely smooth opening. And if you look at the flipper, very non-intrusive uh, as far as flippers are concerned. Usually they stick out quite a bit. This one doesn't stick out very far, but it really doesn't affect the opening of the knife. A lot of times when you have these that don't stick out very far, they're difficult to open. This one is not. It is a fantastic opening knife. Um, you look at the uh, blade on this side, you can see it's a CPM 20CV, which is a great blade steel and just a really nice looking knife in my opinion. It does have a little bit of uh, milling done on the titanium as well just to add to the look and just makes a great all around knife. This one is in the mid twos somewhere around 250, 260. Um, again, check the website for current pricing on those. All right, we're gonna stay in the ZT family and we're gonna pick up uh, the 0223, which is a little bit more of a, what I call a workhorse knife. Uh, got a little bit more size to it. Um, also operates on a flipper and is very smooth opening as well does have a titanium handle and then a little G10 uh, scale kind of built into it, um, into a milled out section uh, of the titanium. It uh, is a little bit heavier, um, so it'd be one of those that probably is, you know, something you wear with jeans only. Uh, but it does have a reversible pocket clip and it can be operated left-handed as far as opening and closing is concerned. So that's a plus for, in my book, being a lefty. Um, it does also have the CPM 20CV uh, blade, a little bit longer blade uh, than most of these ones that we're looking at. Um, and just a real nice everyday carry if you have to get some decent amount of work done. Like if you're doing more than opening boxes and things of that nature, this is, this is gonna be one that'll do, do right by you. Uh, the last knife we're going to look at on our list is a Fox uh, TUR box with uh, carbon fiber handle scales. And this is an extremely light knife. I'm really impressed with this one from Fox. It's a, a great everyday carry. It does have a pocket clip. However, the pocket clip is set in place. Um, so you can't really do anything with that as far as adjusting it. Uh, it is a thumb stud open and it does have the powder coated blade. And it's just a great looking knife. I really like the color on the uh, backspacer here and the pocket clip. Uh, really looks good in my opinion. And it's just a great everyday knife. Um, just real nice. And I think that'll do it for us guys, uh, talking about these premium knives. Um, we have, of course, a ton of other knives that fall in this category. We wanted to give you guys some that we haven't really talked a ton about. Um, especially, um, you know, maybe some newer ones like this Swayback. Uh, we'll probably have a couple more videos with stuff in different price points. If you guys want to check those out, that'd be great. Uh, till next time, guys, take care.